programa se llama TCC Division Channel, uh, Peter James Marita, y luego después es Call. Kindly subscribe my channel, click the notification bell such that you get notified once I upload a video. Today we are looking at the SSC Division of Mathematics, that is the trigonometric tree, waves, and the trigonometric graphs. In uh, waves and trigonometric graphs here, you need to understand that we are interested with uh, three things. One, the period of the wave, we have the amplitude of the wave, and the first angle or the shift angle of the wave. This is the easiest question that a candidate is not supposed to miss during the examination. So state the amplitude, the period, and the first angle of the curve. So there are three things. That is the amplitude, the period, and the first angle. In the cosine and uh, sine uh, waves with a general function, y is equal to a sine px plus c, and y is equal to a cos px plus c. How do you get the period? The period is 360 divided by the condition of p. Suppose now here, if p is equivalent to 4, then it means the period will be 360 divided by 4. So, period is 360, that's a complete circle, you divide it by the coefficient of B. The amplitude, that is the highest point of the wave, is just A. From here, you can just leave the value of A here, and that one will give you the, 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 the amplitude. The first angle, or the shift angle, is equivalent to C. So C is here, so the first angle is the same as the value of, the value of C. Let us start from the first one. Uh, to the mind, state the period, so there are three things here. So you state the period, the amplitude, the period, and the first angle of the wave. Y is equal to 3 cos 2x plus 40. So if we follow that general function, we have our y, our 3 here is our period, the amplitude, the period is the period is 360 divided by the coefficient of the coefficient of x. The coefficient of x here is p. So it is 360 by the coefficient of x. Then the first angle of the shift angle, it is just 40. You may know this is negative, so don't say negative 40 or cos 40. It is just that case under like that. So the start which you can have the amplitudes. So the amplitude of this wave, the amplitudes, amplitude which is the, the highest point of the wave is 3. So we have 3 from here. The periods, the period of the wave is 360 divided by the coefficient of x we divide by 2 and this one is giving us 180 degrees first angle or you can call it at the sixth angle is just equivalent to 40 degrees very simple as that question 2 Set the amplitude, set the amplitude, the period, and the first angle of the wave. The wave is y is equal to 3 sine a half x sine a half x. So, what is the amplitude here in this case? So, we have amplitude, the amplitude is equivalent to 3. Just you pick the amplitude is equivalent to this thing. Then period. So we have the period of the wave. The period is the area and 60 divided by the condition of x. So we have this is 360 divided by the condition of x. The condition of x here is a half. And that one is giving us 
720 degrees. Face angle. So we have face angle so shift angle is equivalent to it is not here, so that one is equivalent to 0 degrees. Next we have determine the amplitude and the period of the graph. The amplitude and the period of the, the amplitude and the period of the graph. So we have amplitudes. The amplitude is 6, like that. Billions of the graph. So we have billions is 360 divided by the condition of x. The condition of x here is 1 over 2. So you divide this one by 1 over 2, and that one is giving us 720 degrees. The wave, the equation of an astronometric wave is y is equal to 4 sine ax minus 70 degrees. The wave has a period of 180. A period of a wave is given by 360 divided by the condition of x. So we are supposed to find the value of the value of p. So to get the, the, the value of p. We have been given, we have been given uh, the period, so we have period is equal to the angular eight, eh? and this one is normally called by it is the angular sixty you divide by the coefficient of p, which is in this case here is a. Therefore, three hundred and sixty, or you divide it by a is giving us 180 degrees. So both sides by A, so we can multiply here by A, and on the other sides by A. So we have 180, 180 A is equal to the 360. So the value of A is equal to the 360, 360, you divide by 180, which is equal to the 2. So the value of A in that case is equal to the 2. That is the position of X. Then use the face angle. So the face angle or the shift angle. So we have face angle stroke. This is shift angle. It just is equivalent to 7 degrees. Don't just say negative 7, just say that one is. Degrees. So the amplitude the amplitudes and the period of the function. So the amplitude the amplitudes and the period of the and the period of the, the amplitude and the period of the function. So period the amplitudes the amplitude is equal to p. You pick this value which is two. Period. is equal to 360 we divide by the coefficient of x which is 3 and that one will give us 120 so this is 120 degrees so we are supposed to find the amplitude and the period of the wave so the amplitude is equal to 2 the period of the wave is equivalent to 100 next we have determine the amplitude and the phase angle so we start with the amplitude. So we have the amplitude. We have the amplitude, uh, which is equal to the amplitude is five all over two. But if you leave your answer as an group of action here, you cannot score. So in a, because this one is not guided, you are supposed to give your answer as an group of action. So the, the, this one will be equivalent to 2 and 1 over 2. So don't leave your answer as 5 over 2. So the, you simplify, you give your answer as a block of fraction, and that one will be equivalent to 2 and 1 over 2. That is the amplitude. Then we have the first angle, base angle, 
or we can call this one here the shift angle is equivalent to 60 degrees so that is the amplitude of the wave and this is the shift angle or the phase angle is equivalent to that state the amplitudes period and the phase angle of the wave so we have amplitudes We have the amplitudes. The amplitudes here is equals to 2, that is. Then we have the periods. The period is 360. We divide it by the coefficient of x. The coefficient of x here is 3 over 2. And in that case, that one will give us 240 degrees. So we can have this one 240 degrees. Then we have the first angle. We have first angle. So we can call this one here the shift angle, which is equal to be in that case, that one will be equivalent to that degrees. That is the simple way of getting the solid the trigonometric waves getting the period, the amplitude, and the phase angle. So in the trigonometric graphs, you will be given a table, you complete the table, you plot the graph. From the graph, you will be asked to find the, the amplitude. The amplitude is the highest point of the wave, and also, of course, you are supposed to get the period of the wave. The period of the wave is 360 divided by the condition of x. You can look at the, the, the following graphs and then you see how you are supposed to plot the graph and to find the period and the amplitude from the graph. You complete the table, giving the values correct two decimal places. Make sure you, are, you must give the, you follow the guideline. They must be completed with two decimal places. Then from there you can see how you can get the period. Use a graph uh, to solving the equation. Using a graph to solve the equation is just the equation, solving the equation, just get the, the point where the two curves have in the intersection of the two curves. So you will be having the values of x. Then you will be able to state the amplitude of the wave. And then you, you, you solve the, you solve for that equation. You can pause the video and then look at the graphs.
So that is how you can load the graphs, you complete the table, and this, these are the, some of the questions which does not miss in an examination. So make sure you know how to complete the table, you follow the guidelines, the correct number of decimal places, solving the equation, uh, you check where the two curves intersect, and then you will be able to read the amplitude and the period of the wave. We have come to the end of our lesson today and kindly don't forget to subscribe, watch and share. Thank you for watching.